Food plots are a lot of work, and they can get pretty expensive when you factor in the cost of lime, fertilizer, and seed. The last thing you want when you go out to check the progress of all that hard work and money is a plot full of weeds. And one way to control those weeds is herbicide. But what herbicides do you use, and in what situations do you use them? Well, in this video, we're going over five of the most commonly used herbicides and when to use them. And the first is an indiscriminate weed killer, glyphosate. Glyphosate is the most common herbicide because it is the first one you go to when you need to clear the weeds in a new plot. Um, it's also pretty cheap, as long as you don't get the brand name Roundup. If you want to kill all the weeds in a particular area, you need a product that's got 41% glyphosate in it. I believe that's one of the most common concentrations you can find it in, so it's pretty readily available. Glyphosate works best on actively growing uh, plants, so if you could get in a week or two before and mow it down and spray it on that fresh growth, you'll have a much better kill rate. Another reason glyphosate is so popular is because some of the best food plot crops can be found in glyphosate resistant varieties. They'll most likely say something like Roundup Ready, uh, soybeans or corn, so look for those. One downside to glyphosate is something you'll hear a lot if you ask about it, and that's glyphosate resistance. And it can happen if you overuse or misuse glyphosate in one particular area too often, so, so be aware of that. If grasses are taking over your clover and brassica plots, look for Cethoxidem and Clethidem. Cethoxidem is better known as the product name Post, but it does come in a variety of other names. So if you're having trouble finding it, ask your local co-op guys uh, to help you find what you need. Cethoxidem is a grass-specific herbicide, so it won't damage your broadleaf plantings. Clethidem is also known as a rest, and it is very similar to Cethoxidem, except that it does a better job at controlling Johnson grass, or at least appears to. Um, if Johnson grass is an issue, choose Clethidem over Cethoxidem. However, if you don't have that problem, when you're trying to base your decision on which to get, just go with whatever's available and cheapest at the time. And I will have in the description down below a quick breakdown of each, because I know a lot of these sound similar and it can get pretty confusing. And just a heads up, both of these products or herbicides work very slowly, so don't don't expect to go out the next week after spraying and just have a just brown sea of dead grass. It, it'll take a few weeks. Now, if your problem is broadleaf weeds in your plots, you need 2,4-D or 2,4-DB. 2,4-D is used to control broadleaf weeds in your grass plots like wheat, um, rye, and oats, and, and others like it. It will not harm your grass plots if you use it according to the label. 2,4-D can remain soil active for a while after you spray it, so if you plan to throw some broadleaf um, food plot seeds out after, you need to wait a couple weeks. Now 2,4-D-B, which is also known as butyrac, will not kill common varieties of clover and alfalfa if it's used correctly and according to the label. This makes it a great choice for using in pure stains of clover or clover mixes that have some cereal grains in them. Just don't use 2,4-D-B if your mix has any brassicas, chicory, or any other broadleaf forbs in them. They'll be gone after. So that was five of the most commonly used food plot herbicides. Again, I will put a quick rundown in the description below because it was there was a lot of technical names, a lot of the names sounded very similar, so it could get pretty confusing pretty fast. If you have any recommendations, leave those down in the comments below. I know I didn't really cover any of the precautions or any of the concerns with using these herbicides because that's really there's enough there to use a whole nother video. Um, try not to turn the comment section of this video into Monsanto is an evil company that's going to destroy the world. Um, that's Like I said, that's a whole nother thing. Um, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can stay informed.